Hey Flosstube, it's Lori of Mischievous Stitches. It is Sunday, November the 5th, and I'm back with my weekly update on the weekend. <laughs> There's a few things that I've been wanting to show you that I've kind of um, just been unorganized with my videos when I go to do them, so I leave things out, so I'm just going to play a catch-up today and show you a few things I've ran across this, this week. Um, these are my finished um, pieces that I won the ribbons for on the fair, at the fair, and this is the Speak to the Earth sampler, and of course I got a first place ribbon on this one, and then there is the This is the Brent, the um, tapestry sampler by Pat Rogers, and I got a first place ribbon on this one. So I just had a great experience with this. If any of you are just kind of sitting on the sidelines thinking, well, maybe I'll jump in and join the fair, don't hesitate. My first experience, I had a wonderful time. I won't hesitate to do it again. I'm already plotting for next year. Just, just a great experience, and I will say. I, I watched someone talk about it last night on their videos that they had put some things in the fair. I think it was um, 32 stitches. I, I don't remember. I think it was 32 stitches. I was talking about she had won ribbons, but then she realized how few cross-stitch pieces were actually in the fair. And she would rather go up against 50 women pieces and not win a ribbon than have 15 pieces and get a ribbon. I feel the same way. Um, I'm a big girl. I want my pieces critiqued. I want to become a better stitcher. I don't want a ribbon just because there was a few pieces. And honestly, less than 100, I'm prop thinking less than 25 cross stitch pieces in the fair. May have been less than 20. So yes, I got blue ribbons, but is it really... Am I really earning anything when you consider how few? When there's so many wonderful stitchers out there. So anyway, don't hesitate. Uh, take the advice of so many people here that participate in the fair entries. Had a great time. Won't hesitate to do, do it again. And I want to encourage you to do the same. Alright. So this week, I have continued to work on my pen, needle, needles and pins. And this is where I am. So I got a good bit done this, since I last showed you. I finished the outline of the border here, started on the tree, finished the snake, I um, completed her dress, and come around the corner with the border. So I've gotten a good bit done. My goal is to finish this by the end of the year. Not, don't know that I can, if I will do that, but I will be close if I continue to work on it. So just know that that's where I'm at. At work, I've not shown you, I forgot to bring it up here in my last video, but I am working on samplers by the Scarlet House. I purchased this at the Marietta Retreat from Katrina Boyd. And I started it because she finished it while she was there, and it was beautiful. So I am, I've completed about this much. And my plan is to finish this up and to complete it into a drum. It'll be a short, fat drum, but that is my my plans. So I'm doing this one over one on picture this plus 28 count L. And I will say generally when I stitch with sampler threads or over dyed threads, I do two over two and I'm doing full crosses as I go. Any other time, if I'm using DMC and I'm stitching over one, I do one over one. And I do it as I normally do, which is complete a row, the first leg of the cross, and come back from right to left with the second leg of the cross. With this one, I found the thickness of the threads in the fabric. The stitches do not lie correctly, even with one, one strand. So I have been stitching it one over one and completing each cross as I go fully. So this is another one I would like to finish by the end of the year. So yesterday I spent most of my day up here crafting. 
and I took the Halloween night by imaginating that I've been working on and I finished it onto this flat mount which I used Vonna's tutorial for her flat fold here it was here on YouTube and I used that to complete this piece it really did not take that long most of it was me trying to watch what she's doing and mimic it um, but I really like it. I added ribbon, just draped it across. Its ribbon has spider webs. And I did it again here. I will eventually mount this piece onto something else, um, tap into my inner Chelsea and Priscilla, and do that, but it may wait until next Halloween. So my husband and I were in Hobby Lobby yesterday, and I had everything to complete this. But we're in Hobby Lobby yesterday because I'm getting supplies to do something else. And I'm, my, all types of things are catching my eye. I, I saw the pumpkin that the Distracted Stitcher finished one of her pieces on this week. Um, I saw one of the baskets that Chelsea and Priscilla had finished one of their pieces on. And my husband's like, who is Chelsea and Priscilla? <laughs> I'm talking about you guys that much. <laughs> so... Anyway, so this is this finish, and I've told you all that I've learned to quilt by tutorials posted here on YouTube by Jenny Dawn of Missouri Star Quilt Company. So she may have been last Friday, she posts a tutorial every Friday, and it may have been last Friday or the Friday before she posted a Halloween tutorial for a wall hanging, and of course there's witches hats and cats, and I'm not interested in that. But also within that wall hanging was a pumpkin. So I had him drop, take me to Hobby Lobby yesterday while we were out and about. And I got some of the fabrics to do a pumpkin wall hanging. And there were only like less than five bolts of Thanksgiving fabric left at Hobby Lobby. So I think I'm going to have him take me to Joann's a little later today and get the rest of the fabric so hopefully by next weekend at least I will have the pieces cut and ready to sew together for next weekend but that's what I'm up to right now and then so as I am trying to find books large enough downstairs to press this piece after it was glued I found I have more books and I, I keep, I have cubby holes of cross stitch crafts, things everywhere downstairs in the kitchen, in the laundry room cabinet, in my bedside table. <laughs> of course, there's a bookshelf downstairs that I've gotten books for that. Two huge uh, sampler books I had forgotten I had. So, I have craft stuff everywhere and I'm slowly bringing it up here as I need it or I realize that I need it and say, hey, I forgot about this. I'm bringing it up here and making this more and more my weekend home. But this week, I decided to show you all. I have a container that has, this is one drawer, and I have three of the containers that are three drawer systems. So I have nine drawers, and this is just kits, things that are kitted. This isn't anything I already have up here that I've shown you. These are things, well, some of them you may have seen, but most you haven't. So, I'm going to show you, sift through here, and show you some of the things that I have already put it. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. <laughs> this is my obsession. Becky is the obsessed stitcher. I get it, girl. So I have this, it's the gold collection. This is the finery of nature, metallics. But look at that, love this, love it. I ran across this one. I have more whips, didn't realize, let me get some organization going here. This is Road to Bethlehem by Shepherd's Bush, it's a kit. It started. It's Santa Sunday stitching today. It's going up here with me. This is the hair and the basket. It is a commemorative sampler, 1996, for the Spirit of Cross Stitch Festival. 
it is started. This is going to go in with my samplers for this coming year. I told you all that I was going to work some of my existing samplers or whips in. So that will go in with this year's whips. Scissors pocket pendant by the, for Stitcher's sake. It's kitted up. Pearl cotton um, ribbon. That's what I paid for it. This is a piece that I had forgotten about that I started. My organization is not working. I started this at a Spirit of Cross Stitch Festival. It is a needle case. I mean, look at the stitching. You see that? This is a needle case. I can't show you a picture because it's just instructions. I don't, don't have the picture. But I started this. And this one was started at the one I was pregnant with Jacob. So, Jacob is 19. This is at least 19 years old. This is a Heart's Content Wild Wood Violets. I have met Maureen Appleton at a trunk show. She's amazing. Her pieces are all over one. This picture just doesn't do it justice. The colors are vibrant. They're beautiful pieces. See that? Tiny start. This is a Moss Creek Design Raspberry Welcome. This was uh, a class piece from a breast cancer benefit we took years ago in October at a local hospital hosted by our cross stitch shop um, where we had raffles and giveaways and it was all to benefit breast cancer research and I have a start on that one. Those are with flower threads. Do we even use flower threads anymore? Here's another one I've forgotten about. Tiny little start. This is Witch's Brew by the Nutmeg Needle. Best part about this, not the best part, but one of the cutest things. Look at that little witch porcelain button. Forgotten all about it. Some specialty stitching, some pulled thread work, some... This one I kitted up earlier this year. This is Celtic Birds 2 by the Sunflower Seed. Scarlet House, the Smith Sampler. This is the one Nicole of Nicole's Needlework is working on. She was here up in Powell, so I imagine she's up in here somewhere now. I'm close to a finish, but I have this one kitted up ready to go. Needlework, the Needleworker Sampler by Sue Hillis. This one used to hang in our local stitch shop with a different colorway. The colorway was the, more the teal. Got this one. Let Freedom Ring, kit it up, ready to go. This is one of the ones that Jacob, for the, my sampler year, this is the, a sampler story by Brenda Keys of the Sampler Company, kit it up. Another one he nixed at my sampler year. In My Father's House by By the Bay Needle Arts or Needleworks. Elizabeth Mirabilia. Chatelaine Speaks for Itself. Purchased this at the Dixie Darlene on a vacation, and there's the receipt. And it's on a dot matrix printer. And I can't see. Just know it's old. Bought this at Hobby Lobby when Hobby Lobby carried good kits. This is a Lori Birmingham um, Edelweiss basket. I do have the basket downstairs and some of the things I still haven't brought up. Terrence Nolan, Zippy's favorite flower, Dimples Design. Met him. See, he autographed this. Um, I bought this at the Spirit of Cross Stitch Festival. I had the black fabric because even though it shows here it was stitched on white in his um, booth there at the festival, he had stitched it on black and it was amazing. There's so many metallics in there. They just popped and sparkled and so I had to get black, but I haven't started it. eBay purchase, total kit. This is the Needleworkers Avis 
if my video cuts off, I'm just going to be done. <laughs> this is Liz Turner Deal. Never stitch one of hers. Have two. Want to. All silks. Look at that. Specialty stitches. Color. Silks. Mm. Another Hobby Lobby kit. Christmas piece. Bell pull by Lori Birmingham. And his name is Willie Melt. I don't know whether I want, want to do his name, but I like his the little snowman. Glendon plays Frankie the Thinker. Look at those colors. My first heaven and earth design. Had it for years. Never stitched it. Her clothing and her hair. Just love this. This one is stitched and completed on the wall at the Needler in Lexington. South Carolina, which is why I bought this. Kitted up. Beautiful, beautiful piece. These are everywhere here in the swampy, swampy areas. Um, definitely at the coast. But This is another Heart's Content Maureen Appleton Plumeria. Comes with scissors. It's a start. This is another Maureen Appleton. This is Birds of Paradise. Scissors fob with scissors. It's a whip. Because nice matters. This was a gift with silks. This I picked up at Sassy Jack, Jack Stitchery earlier this year. This is um, by Nikki of Nikki's Creation Primitives. Love that gingham fabric. Um, another Lori Birmingham. I do have this too. Kitted up Plum Street Samplers freebie pattern. Heirloom drawn thread piece. Those are my colors. Let's see where I am. It's a band sampler with all the cut work. I have been stitching on and off since I was 13. Salem remembered the primitive needle. Kitted up ready to go. Kitted this at um, the Silver Needle in Oklahoma. Nantucket Basket. Topper. Lori Birmingham. Have that basket too. Six Wives of Henry VIII by the Primitive Hair. I got this as pals a few years ago. Bought the pattern. Bought her um, Anne Boleyn scissors as well as the fabric. Not the threads, but I love Tudor history. This is Patrick's Wood Charlotte Souvenir Purse. Everything I need inside. With wax, thimble. Another Shepherd's Bush, Wandering Shepherd. Another Shepherd's Bush, The Potting Shed. This is another Moss Creek Design Silk Pull Thread Stitchery. This is one drawer out of that container. So, thanks for flipping through it with me. I hope everyone has a great week. And by the way, Thursday, I got a letter from Jacob. I got an email that morning from um, the post office has something set up called Informed Delivery where you can sign up to get an email of your um, mail that you are to receive, the letter mail that you are to receive for that day. I got an email that morning while I'm in line at Dunkin' Donuts getting my morning coffee and immediately called my husband and said, we've got two letters coming today. And I couldn't get out of the parking lot at work before calling my husband and saying, what did he say? What did he say? Because he gets home before I do. Um, he's extremely positive. He passed his first PT test. He's 
very picky eater, but he said the food was great. Everything he said was positive. I just didn't know what to expect. I've seen movies. I've heard stories from uh, family members about basic training and friends because I work with a lot of veterans. So to know that his experience is being is very positive gave me such a peace of mind and, and I sighed with relief. And I just want to tell you to thank you all for the prayers because they, they are working. They are being felt. Um, but continue to pray for him and for the outpouring of love and concern for him and for me. I just want to say thank you so very much because I do feel it. I know you can hear it in my voice. I've got a much better, um, I've got a peace of mind. So have a great week. Um, cross all the X's and I will see you again soon. So until next time, bye-bye.